Hello, my name is Roman Mironov, and this is another recording from my latest webinar about Omega T improvements. And in this video, I am going to cover two improvements that were introduced back in the version 301, and these are the names of the improvements keyboard access to contextual menu items and PDF input filter. First of all, let's look at what a menu key is. So a menu key is the button on the keyboard that enables you to <coughs> access the contextual menu by clicking that button instead of using your right mouse click. And for example, on this keyboard layout, you get the menu key here. And it may look like this. But it can actually look differently, of course. So in Omega T, in the editor pane only, you can now use this menu key to access the contextual menu. So right now I will press this key, not my mouse. As you see from this contextual menu, I can, for instance, choose the suggestion that's coming from the spell checker. Or this word, again, I can select a suggestion from the spell checker, or I can, for example, use the create alternative translation button. So the, the point of this improvement is to improve convenience and usability, especially for those users who prefer to resort to their mouse as little as possible. So instead of right-clicking, you can get now the same result by pressing the contextual menu button, the menu key button. Please note that this functionality is limited to the editor pane at the moment. That means that you cannot use it in any other pane. For example, if I try to use it in the fuzzy matches pane, I don't get any result whatsoever. So I can only right click. So right clicking works in the fuzzy matches pane, but the menu key doesn't. Now to the second improvement that I will be discussing in this webinar, and that is the PDF input filter. You can now use a MegaT to translate PDF files directly. For example, in my current project, I have a PDF file, PDF, and you can see that the filter used for handling this file is called PDF input. Omega T reads the file direct, directly and presents me with the source to translate. And I'm going to show you the, the source PDF now to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is a formatted PDF with editable text. That means I can select it. Omega T recognizes this text and shows it in the editor pane. As you see, there are no tags, so formatting will be destroyed in the target file. The segmentation is not so good either. For example, look at this. We have one sentence, another sentence, and then another sentence packed into one segment. And I have translated a couple of segments to see how the translation will look in the translated file. 
All right, so to show you, I'm going to create translated document and see what happened. As you see, Omegate created not a PDF file, but a text file, which, of course, implies that there will be no formatting. And here is what Amagoti made of my translation. Truth be told, it looks terrible. I encourage you to test this feature in your workflow and see whether and how it works for you. And actually, you may ultimately choose to translate like this and then recreate formatting in the target files. For example, you would probably copy the entire text to a text processor like Microsoft Word and recreate formatting there. But personally, I prefer to recreate formatting before translation because I strongly believe in the saying that garbage in means garbage out. So I prefer to have well-prepared text to work on in a magazine. Okay, this is it about the two functions that I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you for your time. Bye.